Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, I had a great question in the GHL Mastery Group that I wanted to address. And this is a question that Matthew put forward about calendars. Um, can you create a appointment range inside of a Go High Level calendar and be able to provide that range as a time frame for your leads? So I don't have a lot of time today because I got to go pick up my kids from school, but I wanted to get this one out uh, because it's a great question. And there's a lot of confusion around what you can do and can't do with calendars. And so I wanted to show you guys this one um, and show you how it all works. So I have to go and share my screen and we're going to go and I have to remove my appointment from my contact. In fact, I'm just going to delete the contact, make it really easy. Um, okay. So here's how you've got to do it. So first and foremost is how you're going to set up your calendar itself. So in, in his particular use case, um, he wanted basically a range. So from 8 AM to 12 PM and from 12 PM to 6 PM. Um, and the text can show up really at any time in that window. So the way that you do that is you literally just create your 8 AM to 12 PM, and then you add additional hours like so, and then you add your second range, and then you can apply that to all days. Um, and then what you needed to do is you set your slot durations for that window. So in this case, it was roughly four hours. He only wanted three appointments to be booked in any one of those slots. So he can do six separate appointments per day. Um, you know, three in the morning, three in the afternoon. And so what you do is you set your slot duration for four hours and your slot interval for four hours, because what that, what that does is it really only gives you two slot options. You either book from 8 a.m. to 12 or you book from 12 to 6. Um, and so that's kind of the start of this setup, right? Where you got, you just create your individual hours. Now, because I've shown you that, um, I'm also then going to show you the workflow because this is kind of where the messaging of the appointment start and end times. Um, and Hey, we could show up anytime between this time and that time. So the way that you set that up is literally using appointment only start time and appointment only end time. So please be aware that our technicians may show up anytime between 8 AM and 12 PM or 12 PM. And I think 4 PM would be the other one. Um, so that's how you do it. You it's super, super simple. From the client's booking perspective, they're basically only going to see two time slots here. Um, so 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. And then I just added right here, you know, please be aware that these are the time slots that we book in. Um, and then there's three available slots for the morning and three available slots in the afternoon. So if those three slots are taken up um, in the morning, the 8 a.m. is not going to show up. Um, only the 12 p.m. the afternoon times will show up. Now, I don't have a demo for this, but one thing that I've done in the past as well is you can actually set up a custom date field so they can select their date. And then you have the next question on your survey is, would you prefer morning or afternoon time slots? Um, and then you can also then set and create the custom values for the appointment date and times directly inside the workflow. So if you want to know how to do that, Matt, if you watch this video later on, let me know. Um, I'll set that up and do another little demo on that. But there you go, guys. That's how you can create calendar ranges um, inside the calendar settings and then using the workflows to kind of get that message across that, hey, we're going to show up between eight and 12 um, for your appointment. So there you go. That's how you do it. Hopefully that was helpful. If it was, please let me know in the comments. Um, I like to know what's useful and what's not so that I can do more of the things that are useful and less of the things that aren't. If you're watching this on YouTube, I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel for more like this. And if you're in the GHL Mastery Group, just give me a thumbs up, give me a comment, let me know that you want me to keep on doing this stuff so that I just keep on doing this stuff. We'll see you on the next one.